So we learned how to ask questions in column that ask who, what, who's, when, and where. In this video, you will learn how to form questions that ask how and how much. How is it? That's how are you? Oh, okay. Swanee Uch. My goodness. Swanee Uch. Swanee Uch. That's how is it? How are you? Swanee Uch. Swanee Uch. Swanee I Sampan. Swanee I Sampan. How do you go? Swanee I Jinsia. Swanee I Jinsia. Swanning, yeah, I didn't see That's how did you go? Swanning, I didn't see Swanning, I didn't see Swanning, I didn't see How are you going to go? Swanning, ta, I didn't see Swanning, ta, I didn't see Swanning, ta, I didn't see How did you go? Swanning, yeah, I queen sia. Swanning, yeah, I queen sia. The basic meaning of swanning includes some way or matter as well as how. In other questions, each may be used instead of I, and the sentence would be good without either. And with when questions, the subject of the event is indicated with the possessive pronouns. As with the when questions, the article chi is usually used if the event is in the present or future. The article qua or qui is usually used if the event is in the past. Swani is a very commonly used word. The pronunciation of it varies quite a lot. Um, so this is Swani, how you would see it in your grammar notebook if you have it, or just in general, this is how it's spelled. And then these are various types of pronunciation down here. Some drops the schwa, some have the E instead of the I, and so on. Swanee, I can judge. Twa hush boy. I don't die. Spending as I have to lose. So, our next part of the lesson is how much or how many? How many are there? Queen, I. Queen, I. How many are you? When I high, when I high. How many go? How many went? In I just yes. In I just yes. How much did you eat? When yeah I green season. When yeah I green season. How many are you referring to people? Mm -hmm. Next I high. Okay, how many containers or how many people? Nine. How many dollars? Night. How many plants? How many houses? How many times? How many days? Not, not. And how many people or how many of animals? How many of a kind? Weeks. Weeks. And I didn't add um, all that extra stuff that they were saying in the audio, but those the queen had different suffixes added to it so that it knew if it was a um, an animate object or if it was an animal or or a house, you would add a different suffix to that. The key word here is queen, which can be translated as how much or how many. The last of the models can be translated as how many did you eat. The pattern here is much the same as the pattern for swanning, but uch is not usually used with queen. The word queen may look familiar. The root was used there in the word a queen to ask about the time of day. The word queen may also be translated with what number. These questions are asked for a particular number or quantity. We can now completely explain the word a queen, what time? 
you learned that in that the prefix a uh, means be at and that the queen what number and we get a queen at what number which can only mean at what number in the clock or what time and since queen um, can mean what number it makes sense that it can take the lexical suffixes that numbers can but keep in mind that it doesn't occur with the tens suffix shot the audio I guess I could have added the audio to this but this is um, your suffixes for different things like containers your dollars your plants your inanimate objects they all they have different um, suffixes you add to your root word it is possible to have a use subject with a question word if you have a use subject you are necessarily asking about a number of living things so the x or i suffix is required when i try when i try and onto quinoe out, 